Yes. Listen. Go to the bedroom of your suite. Enter the hallway there. Go to the end and open the closet. Raymond. Hello. Do you remember me? No, sir, I don't. Brilliant. We've got 20 minutes for a little checkup from the neck up, gentlemen, so if we could take his jacket, please sit down. You feel a little cold as this anaesthetic gel goes on. Probe sheath and probe Please relax. Are you relaxed, Raymond? Yes, sir. Now, Raymond, I'm going to drill a tiny hole in the skull which will allow delivery of the new implant. So what you'll feel is a little discomfort in the form of pressure and also a loud vibrating noise in your head, all of which, of course, is completely normal. Of course, as soon as this or any task is completed, you will already have forgotten that it ever actually took place. Probe going in now. As Good. Excellent. Releasing implant. There, that wasn't so bad, was it, Raymond? No, sir. It's good, no. No decay, no slippage. Everything seems to be in flawless working condition. Baker and Private Ingram? Yes, sir. Good. Can you describe them for me, please? We're on a routine recon inside Iraqi-controlled terrain, assessing troop strength. We're on a routine recon inside Iraqi-controlled terrain, assessing troop strength. The mission ends without incident. We're heading back toward the command. The night is clear, star. The night is clear, stars, but no moon. The patrol is ambushed. We're engaged unexpectedly by ground forces with helicopter support. RPG incoming, mortar fire. Captain. Captain Marco is knocked unconscious. In the ensuing firefight, Eddie Ingram gets himself separated to the left. Baker goes after him. An incoming mortar shell kills them both instantly before I'm able to locate and eliminate the source of the ordnance. Captain. 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 Captain.